Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thambris Presents Day 5, I want to say. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be blabbering on as usual, but I also be, will be playing um, Terraria in the background. And um, if you've never played this game, it's really fun, and I'm just going to create a small world for us. And Day 5. Day 5. Five. There we go. Um, the easiest and probably the description that takes the least amount of brain effort to um, deliver and comprehend is it's 2D Minecraft. Um, and that's kind of true, but still it's not true at all. Um, it's basically the same thing for the, on the surface level. You're just um, walking around. Mining some stuff, um, you build yourself a home, because when night comes, the monsters come out, and, um, there isn't the same, like, kind of monsters, um, whereas you have the creepers and such, and skeletons, you do have skeletons in this game, but they're usually, I think you do anyway, it's been a while since I actually played this, played this, but, um, whereas... Minecraft, the big thing is the, you know, the creepers. For Terraria, it's the zombies. And whenever you, it becomes night, the zombies come out, the eyeball guys come out, and it's pretty, um, dangerous if you're not careful. And so, ah. Um... Oh no, I am, I am dead. I am dead. So I am going to save and exit because I don't want to lose all my stuff. Um, and we'll go back to day five. Uh, but no, it's, um, it's far more story driven than Minecraft is. Um, in Minecraft, there isn't really a plot or story going on. You're just exploring and mining and crafting. Go figure Minecraft, mining and crafting. But, um, with Terraria, you're actually, like, trying to save this world. And get some torches out, and I will probably end up dying down here, so I don't really want to go down there. Um, but, no, it's got a story. You, um, try, there's the corruption, and we may see some even today. Bodies! Um, there's corruption... And there's evil within the corruption. It's actually pretty cool and fun. Let's see if I can... Okay, I'm going to have to actually build myself a little... Get away! I don't want to deal with you guys right now. But, um, you end up fight. There are bosses that you fight. Um, ugh. and you break these little containers. You get little goods. I cannot see a thing. Ugh. Well, I'm down here anyways. But, um, you make your weapons. You make everything. And it's a pretty fun game. I mean, I got this. This was the game that actually got me started on Steam. Um, I mean, it was gift. This game and Dungeons of Dreadmore, which I will be doing in a future uh, one of these morning episodes. So it is like two right now. But um, it's always weird. My work schedule is not really a. Oh, you work this time every day. It's, we need you here doing this right now. Or rather, you're going to be doing this at this time this day. So, deal with it. Um, I'd love a actual, you know, consistent schedule, but that's asking a little bit much. But, no, it's, um, so that's why this one is a little bit later, just because, like, I didn't wake up late or anything. I just wasn't... A coherent um, being 
This is gonna hurt me. Oh, he didn't. But, um, I wasn't coherent, really, until probably a couple hours ago. But, um, this game is running about, uh, I want to say, it's actually on sale this week. So it's running about, um, it's under five dollars. I want to say it's about three bucks. Um, to get the game. There is online stuff. I, uh, me and a friend tried doing it one time, and we just had no luck whatsoever. Ooh, and I want to get down there. There is good, st I think there's good stuff down there. But, um, we had some trouble with it, and it just was not fun. Um, yeah, there's a chest down there that I can't destroy right now. But, um, it's... You don't have to do the multiplayer to have it be fun. It's really fun and a wonderful time waster. Um, even just single player. It's not as good as FTL. FTL is probably... FTL and Binding of Isaac are easily my favorite just time wasters. If I got some time to kill before school or um, before I graduated, it was time to kill before class. I just load up Binding of Isaac or FTL... And waste, you know, as much time as was needed. But, um, this game is... With those games, it was more of a, you just play once. Or you play it, and when you come back to it, it won't have... Like, it won't be like, oh, I'm continuing my story. This game is far more, you know, a long-term... I don't want to say investment, but it's a, more of a long-term game where... It's not just what you do. It's not a game that you just throw away um, some time into and say, oh, I'm just going to play it for a little bit, and then I'll be done. Um, like, I, you don't play rounds or runs of Terraria. You play Terraria. And a lot of it is just exploring, which is really cool, because, ooh, I got a health potion. Um, all this stuff is randomly generated, and there's, there's a ton of pots here. But, um, there's, like, there's floating sky cities in the sky, too. That's one of my favorite things. I remember the first time I played this. Stupid slime! Um, the first time I played this, I actually found one of them, and my roommate who, well, my former roommate, who will be a once again roommate um this year he just was like where how did you find that it i just built up i wanted to see what was up he had never found one like in his hours and hours and hours of playing and me in my first you know couple minutes found one so it's you know it's it's you can't just play it and be like okay i know everything that could possibly be in Terraria in one run through. Um, there's so many different biospheres. I think they're called biospheres. It's not, is it? It's biomes. Um, there's different environments that you'll come across. There's a desert one. There's a. Oh, I don't know why this is being so hard. But um, there's a desert one. There's an ocean one. There's a beach one. Um, there's the forest, swamp, and then corruption. And so you, and to get, you can't really dig through, like, the really hard corruption until you get a really good pickaxe. But, um, as you can see, it's going to be night here, and I'll probably end with, um, I don't want to build a new house, but I will. Oh, I don't want to build it here. I need to build it somewhere that's open. Actually, I can just cut down these trees. And the trees do take longer the taller they are. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. But the sun is going down really fast, so I have to hurry up and... Because I do want to show you guys a little bit of, like, what the difference is night and day. And the differences between night and day are pretty night and day. Uh...
but um Okay, so eight. And do I have I have wood walls, wonderful. And if you don't put in wood walls, the enemies can get in. But um, there, you're, the for the crafting mechanism, it's pretty cool. Um, I know one, one of the reasons I did want to show this is because I know they just did a, just released the well, not just released, but recently released, um, the Xbox Live version, which I thought was really cool. Um, I do not like the controls whatsoever. Um, they have it locked to a grid, so it's very. Lim well, it's not limiting, but I liked having the freedom. Whereas every, no matter what, it's just attacking, shoot, um, using the bow and arrow, um, doing anything, you have to be in that grid. And that's all nice and good, but you know, so what? Pretty much. Um, there's, you know, yeah, it makes it easier, but it limits freedom not a huge ton and it can be really helpful for making you know precise structures if you because you can make this log little log cabin isn't jack compared to what some people make um you get stone you get gold bar you can make gold blocks later on and um i've seen some crazy towers that people have built so um it's one of those cool things where you're only limited by your imagination. If you want to build a tiny log cabin, you can. If you want to build a giant evil sorcerer's lair, you can. Um, and you get... Oh, I can't remember how you get life. I know you don't start with this much life. Um, I think it's a potion. Oh, I hear zombies. But um, you get mana by collecting fallen stars. And then... Um, using a, uh, one of your crafting tables. And here's the zombies. Oh, don't die. Don't die. You could not die today. Um, but yeah, you can make the mana. You get spells later on. You get wands and stuff. You get guns that use the, um, stars that make the mana stuff, um, as ammo. Which is really crazy, because there gets to a point where you just can't get any more mana. No, 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 no. But um, th one of the things that's also really cool is that there's different, like, events that happen. Um, not, like, in-story events, but just random events that happen. Like the um, Blood Moon, which is really cool. It's basically a... Uh, I don't think it's a random. I think you can you can trigger it, or it's a set thing um, that they put out. Like I think it's once a month. Or, it's more than once a month, but um, it's basically the enemies are stronger, and there's a chance for special enemies. And all the like neutral um, flora and fauna of the place turn evil and crazy, like the bunnies and the goldfish. That you saw one of the bunnies, but um, there's goldfish too, and both of them turn into evil, crazy, killer bunnies and killer goldfish. And there's one of the eye guys. Um, they float around. There's a, the first boss you fight is actually like a giant eye dude, and he is difficult. Um, he's not terribly, di terrible, terribly difficult, but um, he does take some strategizing. But um, I'm actually going to save and quit, and I don't know how far I am on my, or even which one, is base it? Um, show you a little bit far, yeah. Um, so this is my big, this is my actual game. And as you can see, like this is the same character, so you're not limited to which character you play. Or like, by which character you play. I'm going to make some more iron bars. Some copper bars. 
And you can make chests that you can keep your stuff in. It's really cool. Um, the cobwebs, you make silk, which you can make use to make other things. It's um, pretty crazy, all the stuff you can make. Um, and if you ever, like, even the crafting tables, like, I'm pretty sure this is actually a crafting table for, um, like, potions and stuff. Um, table, like, what you put on a table can make it a different thing. Um, and this is your guide. He can die. And you just get a new one, um, which is the case with all, you can actually have, you actually get, um, you basically build yourself a fort where other people come and they will live with you too. You get healers, um, nurses in nurses, cost nurse costumes. Um, you get a demolitions guy who I think is a dwarf. Um, you get, uh, all sorts of things, which are really cool. But um, you have to make a room for each of them, and the rooms have to like have a chair, a table, and lighting. I think those are the three requirements, as well as, you know, walls, full walls, and then being enclosed. But, um, yeah, you got forges, anvils. It's all really cool what all you can make. But, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Um, I definitely recommend, if you enjoy... Minecraft, give this one a try. It's worth it. Um, it's really worth it. This is one of the big games that got me in. This and Dungeons of Dreadmar were the two games that made me get Steam. And I'm going to quit now before I um, lose my door to zombies. So, yeah. Uh, if you like Minecraft or even if you if you um, watch the video and think, hey, this looks pretty cool, uh, do try the game it's like three bucks on steam i think it's actually around 250 but um it's worth it's worth that it's worth the five bucks that i think i paid for it i think it's usually around ten dollars but even then you know it's a really fun game and you put lots of hours into it um i played it last summer way too much but um it's not some it's something where once you play it you get it you have fun playing it Unless it's completely not your game at all. In which case, you know, thanks for watching. Um, and maybe I'll have another one for another game I'll check out. Um, Dungeons of Dreadmore will probably be tomorrow. That's another one of the big games that got me into um, using Steam. It's really fun. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I uh, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to give a like or if you are interested in watching Dungeons of Dreadmore or any of my other reviews whenever they come up, feel free to subscribe so you don't have to go around looking. Um, but either way, hope you guys have yourselves a great one. Enjoy!